at Bolero Bowling Center, the Epilepsy Support Center had an evening to raise awareness for epilepsy. Epilepsy affects almost 300,000 people in Canada and is one of the most common neurological disorders. Nikki Porter is the communications liaison for the Epilepsy Support Center. She has been with them for a year now and is helping the epilepsy community. I, w I went from um, just wanting to be in education to really be invested in epilepsy and I feel like it really grabbed me and now I, I feel this fierce advocacy. I feel like I I've become a really fierce advocate and I really feel like the fire in my belly to um, help educate the public and uh, raise awareness about epilepsy. At the event they had an information table they were selling t-shirts and bracelets and had a mini bake sale. Jamie Van Velzen has been living with epilepsy for over 20 years. I have been living with epilepsy for over 20 years now. Um, as a child it was really really tough because people didn't have enough education on it. As time went on, I was 15 years old, um, I went to the epilepsy unit and I was a candidate for brain surgery. Brain surgery is the best thing that you can have and have done. Actually, from that, I am seizure-free, I am driving, and I have a husband and a son. The Epilepsy Support Centre went from London, Ontario to Sarnia and Chatham, Kent to Windsor about a year ago. We're also building a community uh, here in Windsor, or providing the opportunities for people to build communities here. So we have a monthly drop-in social program for people whose lives have been touched by epilepsy. We also have a monthly uh, parent support group, and then a couple times a year we have events like this. Shelly Regier has twin daughters that both have epilepsy. Uh, pretty, it, there's really no signs. They might just go into a stare and then unfortunately they, they go right down. Like they can be anywhere and they just, you know, in the shower, on, in bed, on, in the kitchen. Uh, and that's, that's the danger of it, that they can go down anywhere. You know, uh, driving a car, like my one daughter can't drive because she's has to be a year free of seizures before she can um, drive her vehicle. So. Porter said that Mayor Eddie Francis has proclaimed March 26 Purple Day and is also considering it on a provincial and federal level. I'm Terrence Garrick reporting for Mediaplex News Now.